conduct a teacher wedding. At the end of this month, my education project will be four years old. Since the very beginning, since the very first students that came into us, we could divide the students into three categories. One third of the students had a diagnosed condition um, and were dyslexics, such as myself. Another third of the students had an undiagnosed condition. Quite often they had comprehension difficulties, whereas, you know, because they could spell, that was the hidden side of a lot of the dyslexic spectrum and conditions that you couldn't see, that they couldn't actually take in what they were reading. So a lot of people, even up until 18 years of age, were coming to us with severe comprehension difficulties. And the other third of the students, um, particularly since we're working in the in Ireland, um, were really all auditory and kinesthetic students, predominantly boys. Um, there was a whole sense that these people were not achieving in school. Um, and after very short amounts of time, that we would take students on for four weeks or six weeks before the state exams, we would work for them with them for four hours, six hours, eight hours. And suddenly they would not only do well in English and maths, they would do well in everything across the board. We had situations where students went from getting 16% in maths to getting an honour. And you really have to ask why, what was so different? Um, and for me, it was the fact that we were adding structures to these people's lives. Um, auditory people think out better. I'm highly visual myself, which is actually quite hard to make videos because I'm trying to visualise what I'm trying to do. But auditory people just talk out their ideas. And the problem is, if you just talk out your ideas on the page, you have no structure. And whereas you have those wonderful rambling ideas in your head, no one wants to read it. Um, so by very simply adding structure to people's work and explaining some of how they were thinking, suddenly they would do better. Um, similarly, kinesthetic people just couldn't relate to the information, they couldn't relate to maths. They never got to get up out of their chairs in school. Um, they never connected with what they were doing. So by suddenly writing their maths lessons on the tables for the first time, they integrated with maths and in four areas they could go from failing it to getting an honour in it, um, which is quite unbelievable. So the school system actually fails 75% of people who go to school, um, especially in Ireland. We are a land of auditory, kinesthetic people. We are a land traditionally seen as well, saints and scholars, but really that should be a land of sports heroes and poets. Um, predominantly because we are highly auditory, highly kinesthetic, huge musicians, huge sports people, um, and there's no reason why someone should be seen as doing great on the sports pitch and lousy on the which is quite often the case.